Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. As you saw in the introduction, um, I will be tackling probably one of the most iconic dresses in Hollywood costume history, and that is the subway dress worn by Marilyn Monroe in The Seven Year Itch from 1955. The dress was designed by William Trevere, and there is a bit of, well, I don't know what the right word is, contention as to where this or the design of this dress came from. Trevilla says that he designed it himself and it was made in his workrooms. Diana Freeland, who um, curated the very large exhibit of Hollywood costumes in the 1970s, says it was bought off the rack and Trevilla was very upset about this. Um, but he was known to copy designs that he'd seen in fashion shows, uh, one of them being one of the outfits that Marilyn wears in the film Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. So we really don't know what the history of this dress is, whether it was an original design or whether it was something Travilla had seen in a fashion show somewhere and then taken inspiration from that. I've been looking for the fabric for, to do this dress for quite some time now and have never been able to find anything that was either the right weight or quite the right colour because the original dress is described as being a colour called bone. Um, so the fabric that I've ended up using is a silk crepe that I managed to find in the shop Missan Fabrics in Soho and I'll link them down below in the description and they were a great help with this fabric and I'd like to thank them very much. So let's get into making the dress and I'll see you at the end with the finished product. I start by cutting out the underbodice in a double layer of cotton bobbin net. Then I move on to cutting out the bodice in the silk crepe. I machine these parts together and finish the top edge with a bias binding made out of the crepe. I then sew this down to the inside of the bodice using a slip stitch. After draping the upper body pleats, I sew them onto the underbodice on the sewing machine. Next, I cut the pleated midriff section and again sew it onto the cotton bobbin net underbodice. I then cover the join with a decorative band and sew it down by hand. I move on to sewing the pleated skirt panels together. There are four of these. Once the panels are sewn together, I then attach the skirt to the bodice. Finally, I sew up the hem by hand using a herringbone stitch.
And here she is completed. She's turned out incredibly well, much better than I was expecting. And I think of that, a lot of that is down to the pleated skirt. It just adds so much more to the skirt, to the dress, sorry. Um, the pleating isn't sunray pleating, which most people think it is. It's actually a directional pleat. And this took me a while to figure out. And the first lot of pleating I had wasn't correct and had to have another lot done. One of the other things that people don't really realize on the original dress is that the bow is actually a tied bow rather than a constructed one that's sewn on. This is probably one of the most expensive dresses I've made here on the channel and the fabrics and the pleating alone came to 500 pounds. And making something like this isn't possible without the support that all you, my followers and viewers, give me. So if you've enjoyed this video and would like to contribute to the channel, please click on the super thanks tab below the screen. Or if you would like to join my Patreon and get regular updates about what I'm doing, I'll leave a link in the description below. Please join me next month where I have a really exciting project which I'm really looking forward to introducing to you and showing you. So I will see you all again very soon and thanks again for watching.